Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 home office, downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Old Air, going to be across the Mid-South area. As we get into the rest of the day, we're going to be seeing, we'll be lucky to have high temperatures just around or maybe a trifle above freezing, and that's going to be about it. Now, temperatures over the next several days improving by a little bit as we go toward Christmas. More chances of rainfall heading our way. Today, high temperatures have already been set in the 30s. That was about midnight. We'll continue to kind of wobble through the upper 20s this morning with winds firmly out of the north of the forecast in the red bar at the bottom of the screen and maybe some clearing early on. More clouds at times, more sunshine at others. It'll kind of wibble wobble back from that. Tonight, winds continue out of the north and with temperatures back in the teens tonight, combine the temperatures with the winds and you're going to be seeing some very low wind chills into tomorrow morning. So the bus stop definitely want to make certain you and the kids if they're still in school make certain they're bundled up out there this is weather overtime if you've never joined us before it's our online video weather blog weather on your schedule from the station that is on your side and more information you can contact me at the email address at the top of the screen austin.onic at wreg.com cough temp decks for today kind of a no-brainer out there for right now with temperatures going back into the 20s and teens definitely want to aim yourself toward the hot cup of java but pay attention if it's too hot. Don't drink it. If you burn your lips or your tongue or some other part of your general anatomy, that's going to be your fault and not ours. This is just a general tongue-in-cheek coffee temperature beverage based on the temperature outside recommendation index, and we call it the cough temp dex. Same way you have things like Torcon and other unique and interesting monikers like that. Temperatures throughout the next several hours with winds out of the north are going to be rather brutal, mid to upper 20s at best. Some sunshine out there, as you can see from the Jonesboro camera, up around Sound Concepts Incorporated in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Mid to upper 20s, maybe heading toward 30 by about early this afternoon, but those winds out of the north at about 15 to 20 miles per hour throughout much of the rest of the day, and that does not include the possibility of wind gusts heading upwards of 25 miles per hour at times, so a very windy, very cold Sunday in town from the City Hall Cam, just north of Germantown High School, looking at cloud cover for the most part in and around portions of the area there. Heading toward Jonesboro again, a little bit of sunshine getting through, not by much, and some clearing skies off toward the west on the lower right-hand corner of your screen, back toward the area of looking toward the hills of northeast Arkansas. Oxford, a little bit more hazy out there, some cloud cover, and a little bit less in the way of dry conditions as some moisture continues to come down across parts of the area. Clearing skies by a bit at Power Center Academy in Memphis. Light traffic on the area close to Winchester Roadway down toward Hickory Hill and breaking up the clouds a bit on the Olive Branch camera from former mayor of Olive Branch Sam Riker's webcam on the Weather Underground system. Precipitation yesterday over an inch so that puts us about an inch over normal for the month and up of seven upwards of seven inches ahead for the year. We've got 58 in the rainfall rain gauge bank. We should be at 51, so a nice surplus for the month and the year to make up for some of those dry months out there. Record high temperature yesterday. We broke, we didn't break it, but we tied one, 76 degrees. Record high for today, 74, nowhere near that. That hasn't been broken since 1889, and a record low of 8 degrees above zero. That hasn't been broken since 1901. 35, very close to normal, our low temperature yesterday morning. Rest of the four cast again as we get into the next several hours are not going to be giving us too much of anything in the way of major amounts of our way. We see again the potential of anything involving rainfall remaining down into northern parts of Mississippi and that's going to be about it. The chances of rain mixed with snow moving off into northwestern Alabama but beyond that it looks pretty quiet out there for the rest of the morning as the clouds and the moisture peel on off to the east. The winds will be out of the north today and combine that with the temperatures in the upper 20s brutally cold throughout much of the day so again around portions of northern Mississippi you see numbers just above freezing but just barely and that's going to be about it by the time we hit sunset tonight a few clouds drifting on through and temperatures back into the mid to upper 20s by News Channel 3 at 10, lower 20s across much of the area, and by daybreak tomorrow morning, easily back in the teens. Combine that with those northerly winds, you've got some stiff wind chills out there. And then we also see, again, numbers by noon tomorrow on Monday, mid to upper 20s to lower 30s. We might top freezing briefly in Memphis before heading back downwards again, and by News Channel 3 at 10, Monday night, lower to mid 20s. So for today, mid to upper 20s for highs, frigid and breezy 
throughout much of the rest of the day. Mostly clear skies by tonight, but could be some mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the morning. Daybreak tomorrow morning could be some wind chills around zero in parts of the Mid-South, and then mainly clear with a few clouds here and there. Dry conditions through Tuesday, no rain, no snow expected out there until we hit about Christmas Eve on Saturday. That's where we see the potential of maybe some more scattered showers, but too warm for anything but rainfall. Not seeing any frozen precipitation out there, and for the big day itself, one week from today, temperatures back in the mid-50s, just above normal, plenty of rainfall, and then some scattered showers from Monday into Tuesday as the temperatures drop. More chances of rain coming our way on Tuesday with highs only in the upper 30s to lower 40s, so some cold rain heading our way after Christmas and into the last week of the year numbers again pretty well below normal for this time of the year as well and for Christmas again looks like it could be a little bit on the soggy side so hopefully indoors is where you get to be out there let's take a look at weather where the troops are if you had anybody for the holiday season serving in, in the United States military Iraq 64 degrees in Basra just before sunset 53 in Baghdad mostly cloudy 57 mostly cloudy in Najaf and cloudy around Mosul 48 degrees there rest of the Persian Gulf 70 in Doha back to the city odd Bahrain and Kuwait uh, early Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. Afghanistan or 40s around Kabul, 43 degrees in Faizabad, 42 degrees in Herat and uh, back toward Kandahar for today and the demilitarized zone south Korea. Temperatures in the upper 30s around Chunchon. Rain around Kunsan and the 30s around Chunchon and Taegu. 40s Seoul, Kunsan and Pusan with a lot of clouds out there but some showers in and around Kunsan. And thank you to everybody for wearing the uniform out there serving your country away from home for the holidays. Susie F. Homemaker, thank you very much for this shot of ice and snow on the ground and the cars in western Tipton County, but the sidewalk is good, so definitely good news on that. Pictures from across the Mid-South for weather, tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3. We'll feature them here on weather overtime and also on air when we have the opportunity to do so. My forecast available throughout the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and an update on your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh that will be taking place from 6 to 9 a.m. on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio, and don't forget about our weather app. It's available at your particular app store. Just go to whatever tablet device you have for the app store and search WREG weather and download that today. Rest of the day today, again, chilly. We'll be talking about the complete forecast again tonight as we wrap up the forecast, so stay tuned for more there. And also, if you have any questions, again, austin.onic at WREG.com. That's a look at our complete forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Early Sunday.